Well, we've got the sight of one of the kills that we had last night. And there is obviously a hyena that is going to eat a bit of leather for breakfast. I'm not sure how good that is as hangover food, but he's now extracting from a situation being followed quite closely by a very brave little canid called the black-backed jackal. Here it comes, just hoping for a few scraps. And of course, if that hyena was to get hold of the black-backed jackal, there would be no chance at all, but it's much faster than the hyena. So carrying that off, that looks like a male to me, and I don't think he's taking it back to a den. I think he's taking it away from the vultures, just trying to be a little bit selfish about his meal. Let me just turn the vehicle slightly. This amazes me how hyena youngsters are so confiding around us. But the adults just tend to lose their sort of, yeah, their comfort around vehicles. There's the little jackal. <laughs> Come on, jackal. Into the frame. There you are. And then a huge number of vultures there are on the ground as well, just where the kill took place. So I think there was some eating, and we have actually spotted one lion down in the valley there. And so we'll see if we can't catch up with him as well, once we've had a look at all the vultures. He's in there somewhere. He was walking along. And I'm sure the rest of the pride must be there somewhere as well. Look at them all huddling in the cold there. Holly, you say, what a cute jackal. Yes, as opposed to an uncute jackal, Holly. I think jackals are very appealing to us. They look very much like our own domestic dogs, and so it's very easy to enjoy them. And they've got such plucky little characters. They managed to survive amongst some real bully boys of the bush. There's a largely a grouping of white-backed vultures the most common vulture. Two enormous leopard faced vultures there. Look at the size of that bird. And as we discovered two days ago, a wingspan of some nine feet, 2.8 meters. Look at that heavy, heavy beak. That heavy bill is a unique adaptation that allows the leopard-faced vulture, of course, to open up carcasses that many other vultures wouldn't be able to. There seems to be a decision from some vultures that that carcass is done. Well, it started to get quite nice and warm, and now it seems to have uh, got quite a lot colder why the sun's decided to give up. All right, let's pop down the road there and see if we can't see this male lion.